come here today to confess I have committed murder, deliberately premeditated murder. I have killed a man in cold blood, and that man is my master. I am here not to ask for pity, but for justice, simple, elementary justice. I am a tenant. My father was a tenant before me, and so was his father before him. This mystery is my inheritance, and perhaps this will be my legacy to my children. I labor like a slave, and out of the fruits of that labor, I get but a mere pittance for a share, and I have to stretch that mere pittance to keep myself and my family alive. My poverty has reduced me to the bare necessities of life, of the constant fear of rejection from the land has made me totally subservient to my master. You tell me that under the Constitution, I am a free man, free to do what I believe is just, free to do what I think is right, and free to worship God according to the dictate of my country. But I do not understand the meaning of all this, for I have never known freedom. I have always obeyed the wishes of my master out of fear. I have always regarded myself as no better than a slave to the man who owns the land which I live. Ah, commit which I live. I do not ask you to forgive me, nor to mitigate my crime. I have taken the law into my own hands, and I must pay for it in atonement. But kill the system. Kill the system, and you kill this system. Kill the system, and you kill slavery. Kill this despotism, and you sit human soul into happiness, into freedom, and contentment. Kill this slavery, and you release human into and you and you release human spirit into happiness and contentment for the cause of human liberty, of human happiness and contentment. Thousands and even millions have died and will continue to die. My dear friend, I am a peace-loving citizen. I have nothing but love for my fellow men. And yet, why did I kill this man? It is because he was a symbol of an economic system which has made him and me what we are. He a master and I a slave. Out of a deliberate design, I killed him because I could no longer stand his life of constant fear and being a servant because I could no longer suffer the thought of being a perpetually a slave. I have committed the murder. As an object lesson, I want to blow the spell, the death of my master, to be a death blow in the institution and economic slavery which shamelessly exists in the bright sunlight of freedom that is guaranteed by the institution to every man. My dear friend, I do anguish from the weak and helpless and has laid upon the back on the ignorant labor that burdens are too heavy to be burned. I demand death to this callous system of exploitation that has tightened the fetus of perpetual bondage. I demand death to this oppression that is denied liberty to the free and unbounded children of God. I demand death.